Hey guys, welcome to Little Mouse Advanced Weapon Tactics. Today we're on spring break. We're going to make a couple more videos for you to end up season two, and we're going to be pretty soon entering into season three. So today we got another household weapons video, and this was uh, done on Zombie Go Boom. So we're going to see and test it here. Uh, they tested pencils and pens. I'm highly skeptical to see what this is going to do against our skulls, but we're going to test it anyway and see what happens. Little Mal presents Advanced Weapon Tactics, the weapons review show that tests the lethality and destruction of various cultural artillery. Will this week's weapon be powerful enough to destroy our new main heads? Find out now. Do not try this at home. All right, Matt. So what do you think the pencil will do to our skull? All right, so I think it's actually going to do quite a bit of damage. I don't think it's going to break through the skull, but I think it will break through the silicone flesh, and we'll definitely see some damage there. But once again, I'm really skeptical of it breaking through the actual skull of it. I really feel like it's just going to come down, and the point's going to break right on that skull. All right, so the way they did it was they just stabbed it, and once it broke through that layer of skin, they just pounded it in. Now I'm going to use a glove just because it might hurt my uh, palm a little bit. But I'm very skeptical. These are very hard. These are probably harder than a regular human skull. So I'm very skeptical. We got a couple pens and pencils. We're going to try it and see what happens. And you're going to want to put your thumb on the back of the, the eraser to give you some added support. So give me a countdown, man. E. R. So. Alright, so tell us what we got going on here, Matt. Alrighty, so there you see it, there's the pencil stuck in, and just as I predicted, it went through the flesh, but it did not go through the skull there. It did put a little crack into it. I'm gonna try to give it a, a palm hit to it to see if it can do a little more damage. Well, it didn't really damage the point, so we're gonna try it again with this pencil. Countdown. E. R. So. So. And it broke off the tip. But again, that skull is pretty well intact. We can try another pencil, just to see what will happen. Well, it's not doing anything to the top of the skull um, at all. So we're gonna try for the eye socket. This 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 will help the um, the bone structure actually catch the uh, tip of this. I don't. Again, I'm very skeptical, but maybe we can get a little more damage here. But again, there's more flesh, so we're gonna see what happens. Countdown. E. R. So. Again, it's just going through the skin layer and really not doing much to that skull. Again, nothing. Okay, before you go and troll this video, I understand I'm not the strongest person here, and obviously someone with a lot more muscle could get that a little bit further, but I don't see any cracks or damage really to that skull itself. It's just piercing the skin, which was, I do believe will happen to you in real life. It will pierce your skin, a pencil. But it's just not doing the kind of damage we saw on Zombie Go Boom. So uh, we're going to go ahead and test the pen. This is a little bit stronger, and we're going to see what this can do. All right, so obviously if you did go for the eye, you're gonna poke someone's eye out and that would actually put them probably on the floor. They're gonna be bleeding out of their eye and they're gonna lose their eyesight. So in a real scenario, if you have to defend yourself and maybe you're at your desk or you have a coffee table near your bed or something like that, and only thing on that desk is a pencil, then you can definitely pick that up and go for the eyes and that'll definitely take out your target, but it's really not gonna kill someone. A much bigger gouge in the flesh um, but again just flesh not really much to the skull E R son son again like we saw on their show the skull is actually deflecting um, the pen and it's just not piercing the skull at all it'll screw up your skin pretty badly but again nothing is going to penetrate this skull with a pen or a pencil. All right, Matt, so what would you have to say about the test today? All right, well, actually, really surprisingly, it met up to my expectations. I really didn't think we were gonna get any damage to the skull. Those skulls are really hard, and having a pencil go through that without it breaking is just gonna be a really difficult task, and pretty much it's gonna be impossible. 
But we did get some damage to the skin, and like I said, it does have some use in real life. So if you only have a pencil or a pen nearby your bed or something like that, and an intruder comes in, then you can definitely go for the eyes and take someone out pretty easily. Yeah, again, we didn't see too much damage with the pen or the pencil. That's why they make stuff like the tactical pen to defend yourself with. Uh, again, those are less than lethal options, so it's really even those might not even pierce through a uh, skull. Um, we can test those in the future. We don't have one right now, so we can't test that. But um, yeah, Mr. Ming, he's alive. He might need a trip to the hospital, but again, he's not going to be dead. But you could defend yourself with a pen or pencil if need be, but it's obviously not the ideal weapon of choice. Alrighty guys, thank you so much for tuning into this episode of Advanced Weapon Tactics. If you enjoyed us testing out the pen and pencil on our main skulls, then go ahead and hit us up with a like. Also, if you have suggestions for weapons that we should test out in future episodes, hit us up with a comment. And if you have any questions or you just want to tell us, hey, I really like what you're doing with your videos and with your channel here, then go ahead and hit us up with a comment. We love seeing comments from you guys, and it really makes our day. Also, be sure to share this video with your friends and your family to help us get out there so that way we can make more and better content for you guys. So once again, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode of Advanced Weapon Tactics.